Hi, I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a motorcycle racing TV show called Team Chicago Town. My website is teamchicago.tv. My email, and I'd love to hear from my audience, is teamdan45 at gmail.com. We're at Great Lakes Dragway. We're here with the Wise Guys, Chicago Wise Guys. This is their 27th year. My good friend Dennis Burgess is one of the top six-second door slammers. This is some very great cars, and I'm always impressed coming out and seeing the Chicago Wise Guys. So let's check out the racing action. Remember my uh, email. Let me know what you think of this clip on YouTube. It's teamnan45 at gmail.com. As Dennis and Dan unload the Dunright Chevrolet Cobalt, I should point out that I've been covering the Wise Guys going back to 2014. This is their 27th season, Chicago Wise Guys, side-by-side, -side, door slammers, great group of racers. Dennis has installed his, I believe he told me it's a 828 cubic inch engine. First time they're running this engine this year. We're gonna do some tuning and Dennis has run a practice run. Generally, Dennis does not run practice. But we're gonna head over and check out some of the practice runs with the Chicago Wise Guys at Great Lakes Dragway. This beautiful 57 Chevy belongs to Bill Graziano. He tells me he's having electrical problems. And I know what that means because back in my 2007 or 2008 season running the weird National Endurance Series, I was having problems with the fuel pump. So sometimes you just chase one problem after the other Bill is running a practice now with his beautiful 1957 Chevy. Bill turns an 816 at a 189 miles per hour. And he has to step it up and want to make the program today. Next up is Tyler Jenneth. He's got a 1991 Pontiac Firebird 780 cubic inch AES engine. This is the 2020 Wise Guys Champ. This rookie racer. A great family. Six seven eight, two hundred miles an hour. Six seven eight, two hundred miles an hour. Next up is Ricky Rush. He's got his 1993 Mazda MX-6 running three uh, engine with three rotary, a rotary engine with three rotors. It is turbocharged, one of the fastest metric cars in the nation running here with the Chicago Wise Guys. I counted five gear shifts there. It was 724, 194. 724. Dennis is going to make a practice run. Tune in. 828 cubic inch engine. Dennis generally does not practice with this new engine and we're getting to the end of the season. Dennis won the Wise Guy Championship in 2014, 2016, and 2018. As Dan and the crew line them up. He's now staging. Wow. 
661 at 205. 661 at 205. Back in the pits, they pulled the doors off and the hood. They say, check the computer, get the proper readings. Let's talk to Dennis as he refolds the parachute. Now you've run and, this uh, motor before, right? Yes, uh, this is the second time this motor's been in the car. And uh, we've never got it dialed in all the way yet, so we're trying to get it closer today. So we are happy, we're happy with the run? Yes, happy with the run. With, that was not a full run, and it was planned not to be a full run. So we got good data off of it, and uh, making the adjustments now from there. Thank you. And how was the track? What was that? The track looks okay? Yeah, the track was good. Thank you, Dennis. As we look at one of the first rounds, remember, the wise guys run two rounds, heads up racing, fast is four, make it two. The semifinals, in the little plane, that is Billy Holt. He's got a 1968 Chevy Chevelle, 540 clone engine, three-speed Linko. In the near lane, 57 Chevy. Billy Holt had a problem. Billy runs a great run. 7 11 at 193. 7 11, 193 miles per hour. Bill Graziano's having problems with his 57 Chevy. Back in the pits earlier, I got a chance to look at this Chevelle Bruticus, totally built by Billy Holt. Let's talk to Billy. Guys, I'm Billy Holt, Chicago Wise Guys. Always, if you have any time, come on out to the Indian Grove Drag Strip to see us run. Uh, this car, my grandpa bought me when I was 16 years old. I used to drive to high school. And it's been through a ton of changes, but I built the whole car myself. I built the chassis, built the engine. It's a 540 loan alcohol. Typically runs 690s, uh, but it's a great time, great group. Come on out, join us. Any sponsors? No. Your car, huh? What year no is it? What year is it? 68 Chevelle. 68 Chevelle. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. Next go around, we got in the far lane. It is Tyler Shunnett. He was the 2020 champion with the Wise Guys. In fact, his dad was a champion twice and the son once. They got a 780 AES engine. Two stage nitrous in the near lane. That is Gene Neesmith. He's got a 525 engine with a Whippo screw blower in his all steel Chevy 2. A great run. 666 211. That's Neesmith turning 666 in quarter mile at 211 miles per hour. Tiger has a problem. 2020 champion will have to make up for the next go round. He wants to make the program. Earlier in the pits, I had a chance to look at Gene Sneesmith, beautiful pit area. I had a chance to talk to Gene. Hi, I'm Gene Neesmith out of Beach Park, Illinois. I drive a 1969 Nova. It's 525 cubic inches, screw blower. Uh, it's got a uh, 411 gear in it. It's got a Bruno Linko transmission. Uh, it's a Whipple screw blower, 56 pounds of boost on the hit. Uh, 3,000 pounds steel body bin number car. And uh, I'm out here with my son, Eugene, Rob Wiley and my family, and all I want everybody to do today is just be safe and fun. Thank you. Thank you, Gene. As we take a closer look at his steel body, Chevy 2, we have a chance to look at his 525 engine with that Whippler screw blower. His 
making great runs and he finished third in points last year. And now in the far lane, it is Pete Demas with his Camaro. In the near lane is Ricky Rush. He's got that metric Mazda. Three. This is lovely Camaro. Two of the sponsors include H&M and SJB Reynolds Motion Picture Transporters. I had a chance to talk to Pete and his crew chief. Demas, president of Chicago Wise Guys Association. Uh, been in existence now, it's our 27th year. And we're doing pretty good this year. Last four races, four finals. Two wins, one runner-up, and at one time it got real dewy out, so we split it. So we're doing pretty good. So how's the points going right now? Right now it's a battle of four cars. Pete Demos, Troy Pazudzic, Dennis Ferkus, and uh, Chuck Weck. We're all within a point, the top four, with three today and two more races after today. Wow. So tell me about the car. The tell me your name first. Santos Arcenega. It's a 68 Camaro, Tim McCabe is built. Uh, 767 Billy Alberts motor, uh, two systems we run, we have three, might dabble into that today, see what happens, if the track permits. Uh, besides that, cars been running good and just out here to have some fun and keep our points going in the battle, in the hunt. In the hunt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> have a good Thank you gentlemen. As we take a look at Ricky Rush's Mazda, you can see it is turbocharged and it's a rotary engine. There are three rotors in this engine, I believe. It's a high revving metric engine, probably the fastest Mazda in the Midwest for sure. Ricky still has some teething problems with the clutch. Once they get that worked out, I'm sure he's gonna be breaking into the sixes. It is a Mazda MX-6, it's a three-quarter chassis. Beautiful metric car. Coming back to the pits, that's Billy Holt with his Camaro. He had a good run. He's still a little bit shy, jumping into the six seconds and breaking 200 miles an hour. He has done that in the past. Next up, we have got the Fire Lane. That's the Ossolini brothers. All steel body Chevy 2 in the near lane. That is Brian Clark. He has got the Mustang. The Ossolini brothers are running a 526 Allen Johnson billet aluminum hemi. It is low. Running a three speed train. Brian Clark has got that 588 cubic inch. Yeah, five pro charge four Mustang. One of the three speed. They stage. You can see they stage. The top lights come on. They're coming to the staging. They wait for the second lights to come on. And it's any time after that. They come down off the line. It is Clark with the Mustang. for the Mustang, or Serini Brothers. We've got a 10.4 at only 77 miles per hour. We're gonna go back to the pits and find some more speed. In the pits, I had a chance to look at Brian Clark's Mustang. It is a well-built car. B&J three-speed transmission. They've got that unique EFI Pro Charger. And earlier in the day, I had a chance to talk to Brian Clark. Let's go to that right now. 
Hey, Brian Clark here with the 2021 Time Machine Nationals, Great Lakes Dragway. Out here uh, swinging for the fence here. We had a couple of problems through the season. Uh, hard to get parts. We got our parts, we got everything together, we got our detuned to go A to B. But uh, we made a test in, everything was good. So we're going to turn her up a bit for first round here coming up. Thank you, Brian. Next up in the far lane, that's Dennis Burkus with the Dunright. Cobalt in the near lane. It is Troy Johnson. He has got the 2001 Pontiac G. That's body. He's running a sunny Hemi head, 825 cubic inch engine. It is naturally aspired. Putting out 1,800 horsepower, three-speed M&M &M transmission with a huge converter. Dennis Burkus got that 828 cubic inch Hemi. This engine is built by Jerry Tanova. He's got a five-speed Liberty, running carbureted, 118 octane gasoline. This is a great matchup. Mountain motor, door slammer, side by side. A cobalt against the Pontiac, Chevrolet against the Pontiac. Just watch some stage. Three stage lights on. against the 674 at 207. Dennis Burkus takes the win. He is in the program. It may be Dennis is fast his time at 214.89 miles per hour. As we see Pete Dennis coming back to the pitch. The president of the Wise Guys, 27 years. Next up, Chuck. Weck. He has got that 1959 De Soto. He is sponsored by the Weck Auto Group, two dealerships, a Kia and a Volkswagen. This is a De Soto. With a 522 Noonan Hemi built engine. He is running on alcohol. It is blown. This is a great looking car. They call it Mad Dog. He is staging Solo Run. He is hauling the bacon. He turned. 578 at 254 miles per hour. 578, 254 miles per hour. Back in the pits, I had a chance to look at this car earlier. 1959 Illinois license plate. And this 1959 looks like a DeSoto to me. Earlier, I had a chance to talk to Chuck Hi, my name's Chuck Weck. I've been with the Wise Guys for a little over 20 years. Uh, currently, we're running this car, which we call the Bad Dog. This is a screw-blown Hemi. Uh, we currently hold the Wise Guys speed record at 249, and we've gone as quick as five seconds with the Wise Guys. Um, we love this club. It's been uh, it's been home to us for a bunch of years, uh, and hopefully, we see them continuing on for a bunch of years more. Tell me about the car. Okay. So, uh, Hemi, uh, screw blower, okay, this is uh, a bore hat, which doesn't mean anything to anybody, but it puts a lot of air into it. We've got a Lenko transmission, three speed, uh, air shifted, and basically the car was built by uh, Larry Jeffers. A lot of the work we've done in our garage, everything from headers to engine mounts to electrical and plumbing and all that stuff was done in our garage. We've got a kind of a rat rod type uh, 
paint scheme on the car. It's all done by hand by a bunch uh, a guy named Tom Evans. And there's a whole bunch of you know detail on the car that you might see things from. You know, we've got a bat. We got spiders we have everything on it so so this is the DeSoto though right it's a we call it a DeSoto but it's really just kind of a right right price. right 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 57 DeSoto or 59 50, DeSoto 59 right yeah the you know the design is similar to that but it's really just a Mopar you know from that era right. we love the big right. fins and we love the look of the car all right uh, sponsors Sponsor is my own uh, auto group, WAG Auto Group. We have a couple of dealerships. We've got Elgin Kia and we've got Volkswagen Mount Prospect. And other than that, it's all, uh, we pay for it ourselves. Just, you know, we buy the parts ourselves and use them up and throw them in the garbage when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. As we see the Orsolini brother race car go back, we've got to find some speed if they want to make the program today. Great looking Chevy 2, all steel body. Dennis and his crew come by in the Dunright Cobalt, turning a 654, 214 miles per hour. A very good run that might be the fastest this car has ever gone, 214 miles per hour. Dennis is a three time wise guy champ. And while the wise guys' cars are returning to the pits, the nostalgia super stock cars were running down the strip. And look what I spot. This is the home record. Maybe the coolest car on the Northwest side back in 1963 and 1964. It's a 10 second car now. It's got a 409, but originally it was my good friend, Joe Scarlatta, who built this car Joe that raced motorcycles with me. Now let's check out the second round of the Wise Guys. In the staging area at Great Lakes Dragaway, it is the Wise Guys lining up for their second round. We're looking at Luke Artuzak's Camaro. He's got a single turbo in front of that engine, making great horsepower. That's what turbos do. Now we're looking at Plain Insane 2. It's a Mercury Cougar with a Ford Hemi engine. It's owned by the Cokers. And next to it, you see Billy Holtz, 68 Chevelle. 15 wise guys showed up on this Labor Day weekend for the shootout. Only two events left in the season for the Chicago Wise Guys. Let's see who's fast at Great Lakes Dragaway. First round, it's at Luke Artuzak. He's got the 1981 Camaro with the 482 engine. It's got a power glide in the near lane. That is dizzy. Cesaro, he's got a Toyota pickup truck, Wicked Yoda, he's got a 598 Chevy engine, he's got a power glide, and a singular nitrous system. They line up and stage. The Camaro's got a problem. 7, just 7, kind of motoring 4, down 1, there 7, in the right 2, lane. He lost traction right at the hit. Something at 128. That was a rough one to see. That was a rough one, but... Uh... Dizzy won that matchup. Our next barrel wise guys will be coming up here at 172 miles per Top hour. Clear. That means the next... Now we've got Colt against Coco. It is... Plain Insane, Mercury Cougar, 1967, 765 cubic inch, Hemi, Ford Hemi engine. It's got a power glide. Billy Holt, he's got that 68 Camaro, he's got a 540 B&B &B Chevy engine with a three-speed transmission. 
Yes, they stage. It's a tight run to the quarter mile. that one by one tenth of a second. Earlier, I had a chance to talk to Maria and Dave. Hey, Dave and Maria Coker, we're at Great Lakes Dragway. Uh, Labor Day weekend with our new engine, a 765 cubic inch Ford Hemi. And Dave can take it from here. So this is a new motor for this year. It was built by BES Racing Engines. It's actually a true Ford Hemi head, which is based off the original Ford Hemi Pro Stock heads. They're referred to as A441 heads. And we, we got it out earlier this year. We've been, we changed the entire drivetrain in the car, including the four link, the rear end housing, the shocks, everything. So we've been fighting getting it down the track. We just finally got it down the track. So now we're gonna start trying to tune it and see what it'll do. So your best so far? So it's gone 708 at 194 so far. So you're knocking at 200 mile an hour in six seconds, right? So hopefully it'll run in the high sixes, close to 200 is, is kind of the plan. And if it doesn't work, when the manifold was made, we had to put two bungs in there. So if we have to, we can spray it. <laughs> and of course, we're here with the Chicago Wise guys. Thank you, Dave and Maria. Next up, it is Pete Demas in the near lane, 1968 Camaro. He's got that 765 Billy Albert's engine. He's using that three-speed tech fogger nitro system. Pete Demas was the 2004 and 2011 Wise Guys champion. In the far lane, that's Troy Pachuzic. He's got that 829 Sunny Hemi head mountain motor. It is carbureted. He's got a three speed MM trans. Uh oh. There is a problem. Pete Demas, the president of the Wise Guys. He's got an oil leak. They are pulling his car back. Troy is going to make a solo run with his 2011 Pontiac GXP. 672 208. That's good enough to get him into the sixth spot. Not in the 672 208. 672 208. Right now. It was a good run for Troy and his Pontiac. Next up, we've got Steve Malik. He's got the Extreme Bird 1970 Plymouth. He's got a 521 BAE Hemi. He's got a 1471 Root Blower, three speed Glenco. MalikRacing.com. In the far lane, it is the 2020. Wise Guys champion, it's young. Tyler Chinook, he's got a 1991 Pontiac Firebird. He's got a 780 AES engine. He's got two stage nitrous. It's got a power glide. He was the 2020's champ and his dad was another two time Wise Guy champ. We got the youngster, Tyler, in the far lane. We got Steve Malik in the near lane with that Plymouth Extreme Bird against the Firebird. Six six seven two oh six. 667206 148 and 41. Tyler, 2020 champ, had a problem on that run as we take a look at your 780 
AES engine with the two-stage nitrous system. And I had a chance to talk to this driver earlier today. My name is Tyler Shenick. I'm driving a 91 Firebird at Union Grove today. Labor Day weekend. We had just uh, one test hit, went okay. Not quite what we were hoping for, but we're getting it ready for uh, the next qualifier coming up shortly. So you uh, won the championship last year. How are you doing this year? Currently, I believe we're I was second. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the points in a little bit, but we're we're still in the hot. Got those by. Any sponsors? Yeah. Uh, no. no, no Just you and your dad, huh? Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Tyler. And good luck in the future. And I know they at least have one sponsor. CNC Construction. <laughs> See plain and sane heading back into the pits. Got that wonderful Ford Hemi, a very rare engine, but it is a Ford engine in that Mercury Cougar. And now we see the blown Chevy Chevelle. Next up it is Dennis Perkins. Dennis Perkins has that 628 Jerry Genota Hemi engine. He's got a five-speed Liberty, he's running carbureted, running on 118-octane gas. was in 14, 2016, 2018, Wise Guy Champion with the 2009 Chevy Cobalt. Dennis is sponsored by his own company, Dunright Auto Repair and Sales on Elston Avenue in Chicago. In the far lane, that is Gene Neesmith, 1969, all steel body Nova. Got a 525 cubic inch engine with a Whistler screw blower. His two sponsors are Sneak a Dip and Bubba's Excavating. Chevy 2 in the far lane, Chevy Cobalt in the near lane. Blown engine in the far lane. Carbureted engine in the near lane. As they stage. Six, six, seven, two, fourteen. Six, fifty, two, two, fifteen. Great side-by-side -side action. Dennis takes the win. Next up is Mad Dog, 1959 DeSoto. Chuck Wreck gets help from Reseda Racing. They be the top racing organization that has mastered using alcohol. This is a 522 Hemi, Newland Hemi, got a Lenko transmission running on alcohol. Chuck owns a Kia and a BW dealership. In the far lane, that is Brian Clark. He's got the 2004 Mustang, 588 EF5 road cars. Three speed. Six thirty two, one ninety five. Six sixteen, one eighty one. Ryan had a fast reaction time, but Chuck ran him down with the DeSoto. Next up. Orsolini Brothers, Bob Orsolini, 1967, Nova, Chevy 2, 526, Alan Johnson, billet engine, it is supercharged, Runco 3-speed, 
He was a 2012 Wise Guy champ. In the far lane, it is Ricky Rush, 1993 Mazda MX-6 rotary engine. It is turbocharged, three rotors in that rotary engine, running on alcohol. Seven fourteen one ninety three six ninety three two oh two six ninety six Bob Orslini picking up the win with the Chevy 2. Next up, Phil Graziano, 1957, Chevy Bel Air. Got a 632 Steve Schmidt engine. Got three-stage nitrous. It's a three-speed trans. In the fire lane, it is Dick Pacino's 1957. Shake, rattle, and run. Got a 635 Steve Schmidt engine. He ran this car in the amphitheater back in 1962, indoor drag racing. And I should point out that with the wise guys, you are allowed unlimited modification. The far 57 Chevy is not as modified as the near 57 Chevy. But Bill says he's been having mechanical problems. And it happened again. Picking up the win. 807-125. 807-125. It is shake, ran on run, picking up the win in this go round. As we look at Bill Graziano's beautiful 1957 Chevy. Earlier, I had a chance to talk to Bill. It's Bill Graziano. I own and drive this uh, 1957 Chevy built by Tim McCamus. He's got a 632 motor with uh, three stages of nitrous. Uh, best time so far has been 660. Uh, we're hoping to improve on that today. We've got an electric gremlin we've been fighting. But, uh, we're going to light the third kit today if uh, we can get rid of this gremlin. Thanks. I know what you're talking about, Bill. Back in 2007 or 2008, I had a problem with my fuel pump and my R6 Yamaha, and it haunted me the whole season. And now we see Dennis Burkus returning. The crowd is cheering him on. And I had a chance to talk to the owner of Shake, Rattle, and Run, Dick Messino. My name is Dick Messino. And you own Shake, Rattle, and Roll? Shake, Rattle, and Run, yeah. And, and that's a nice, beautiful 57 Chevy. Yes. And they brought you up to the line to run against another 57. Yeah. And you guys won. Yeah. Well, he didn't race. I don't know what happened to him. We were only supposed to run the eighth mile anyway. Right, right. So, so I don't know so what tell happened. Tell me about that car. What, the Shake Rail and Yeah, run? yeah, your car. It's been a race car ever since 1958. Oh, really? I've owned it since 1958. Really? Yeah. Well, I my first car was a 1957 Bel Air, but a four-door hardtop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been racing that car for over 60 years. Thank you, Dick. As we see the crew from Bill Graziano's pits packing up his 57 Chevy, it's always next week. Over in the Dunright Racing pits, you see they're starting to remove one of the valve covers on this 828 Hemi engine. We check the valve springs, we check the clutch, Check the computer, and I had a chance to talk to my good friend, Dennis Furcus. All right, Dennis, how did that run go? A little better? Did you make your shifts right? That's right. Uh, the run went good. But uh, the 
clutch might have been slipping a little bit. We don't know yet. Eric is checking it out now because as soon as I shifted, the light was on immediately again and again. So, but I waited uh, in first gear to shift it into second until the light came on this time. So I didn't. Uh, so you could do better. Uh, doing the best I can, but you know you just keep trying. <laughs> But uh, that was our fastest mile per hour ever, 215. 214 was our fastest before. So that's so that fastest, was the fastest, 215. 215 yeah. well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Dennis made the cut with his 652, but the clutch was slipping. Two valve springs were weak. He decided to pull out. He's not going to run the semis. There's always another race in the future. So in the semifinal, it will be Brian Clark against Billy Hope. It will be Chuck Weck against Steve Malik. Let's check out the semis. In the far lane, that is Brian Clark. He's got the 2004 TMRC Pro Mod Ford Mustang. He's got a 855 cubic inch engine. He's running an EFI Pro Charge. He's got a three-speed B&J Trans in the near lane. It is Billy Hope. He's got that 1968 Chevy Chevelle that is blown. He's got a 540 B&B Chevy engine. 1471 high helix blower. But it looks like there is a problem with Billy Holt's Chevelle. I believe we're gonna have a solo run. The winner of the two semis will face off for the top cast, the Wise Guys first, the Great Lakes Dragaway. Six thirty-five, two twenty-one. Second semi-final in the far lane. It's at nineteen seventy Plymouth Extreme Bird. Steve Malik. It's got the five twenty-one BAE Hemi. It is blown with a fourteen seventy-one root blower by Chuck Ford. Fiberglass body. This body came all the way from the Netherlands. In the near lane, Mad Dog. It is a 1959 D Soto. Got the 522 Noonan Hemi built. It is running on alcohol, and he has a huge blower on that motor. A beautiful 1959 DeSoto, a 1970 Plymouth Chrysler product side by side. Let's watch them stage. We got a special Chicago Wise Guys matchup. In the near lane, it is Tyler Shenick. He has got the Firebird 780 
AES engine. Two stage nitrous up against. That's right. Ricky Rush. Somebody put up two thousand dollars for this wise guy match race. I don't know who put the money up. We've got Firebird in the near lane. We got the Mazda MX6 turbocharged. Three rotors in that rotary engine. Mazda MX6. Team Rush, Ricky Rush. $2,000 on the line. Who's going to win in the quarter mile? took the cast with that 691 for Ricky, he bread lighted. So with the threat of rain and another rain delay, Chuck Reck and Brian Clark decided to combine first and second place money and split the pot. No Wise Guys final event was held. For more information on the Wise Guys, www.chicagowiseguys.com chicagowiseguys.com as we see the through town gassers old time drag race cars parading back to the pits after their run they waited till the wise guys were done contact me it's teamdan45 at gmail.com I love to hear from my audience and remember you can always search on YouTube with Dan Schmidt Motorcycle Racing for great motorcycle racing action. And I'm encouraging you to visit the World of Motorcycle Museum in Winnemac, Indiana, just four miles south of North Judson. It's on Highway 39. Give them a call first at 574-896-3172. It's a great collection of motorcycles and a great trip. 